Today is the anniversary of the dropping of the first atomic bomb ever in world history on a city with hundreds of thousands of human beings. And three days later, another bomb in a second city. I think the best way that we can mark this occasion is to do everything we can to make sure that never happens again. And there's an action coming this year which is an enormous step in that direction. The World March for Peace and Nonviolence which we are inviting everyone to join in a call throughout the whole world for the abolition of nuclear weapons, the reduction of military spending and overcoming all forms of violence. We're going to do a short ceremony, a pledge which we invite everyone who would like to, to join in. We pledge to work for the day when nuclear weapons will be eliminated from the face of the earth. We pledge to honor every human being. We ask for a true understanding of nonviolence as a way of life and a manifestation of that which is truly human. We reject all forms of violence and seek peace in our hearts, working with others to overcome the social violence and injustice that plague humanity. We aspire to persuade and to reconcile. We make a growing commitment to follow the rule that reminds us to treat others as we want to be treated. A human future is possible. Its song echoes in the depths of our hearts, and its construction is a task filled with difficulties, but also with joy and meaning.